this is Steven from Simstone and in this video I'm gonna show you how to install demo data for LE multipurpose WordPress theme. Once the theme and required plugins are installed and activated, you simply need to go to Appearance, Import Demo Data and press the Import Demo Data button. It is recommended to install demo data on a clean WordPress install to achieve best results and to avoid data loss. Demo data installation may take several minutes. Please be patient. Once demo data import is over, you will see the message which says, that's it, all done. The demo import has finished. However, there are still several steps that you need to take to make your site to look exactly like our live demo. Next thing you may want to do is import the demo slider. To do that, you need to find the link to download the demo slider in our documentation right here. Once you follow that link and download the demo slider, you need to go back to your WordPress dashboard, press the Smart Slider menu item, press the Import Slider button, press Choose File, select the file you just downloaded, then press Import. Now, as you can see, we imported the slider. Its name is main and its current ID is four. This ID may vary from time to time and it can be pretty much any number on your computer depending on how many sliders you've got and how many sliders you had before. So now we need to go to our home page and reload the page. As you can see, there is still no slider. This happens because our demo di data has the default ID for the slider as three. And in our current case, as you saw, our ID for the slider is four. So we need to change that ID. To do that, we need to go to edit with Elementor uh, to edit our home page with Elementor page builder. Let's wait till it loads. Okay. Then we need to choose this empty space where the slider should be and press the edit widget. Uh, and right here to the left, we now see the short code for the slider. See here, it says slider equals three. We need to replace three with the ID number for the slider we have, which is actually four at the moment. Uh, you see here, we already see that the slider loads. That's very good. We need to hit apply. And then we need to hit update here at the very bottom. Now we can go to the home page and uh, reload the page again. And here we go. The demo slider has been successfully imported. Next thing you may want to do is attaching your Instagram account to your site to display as you can see on our live demo, like this. In order to do this, uh, first of all, you need to open a new tab, open your Instagram uh, account there, you know, open the Instagram site and log into your Instagram account and make sure you're logged in. Once you do that, then you need to go to the back end of your site, to the WordPress dashboard, go to the Instagram feed link right here and press login and get my access token and user ID button. Okay. Uh, then you need to save changes and go to the second tab which says customize. Here you need to set the number of photos to five number of columns to five as well, the padding around images to zero. Uh, you also need to uncheck the header, uncheck the bio text, 
I check the show load more button, I check the follow button, hit save changes. Now let's go to the front end and see what happened if, if it worked or not. Yes, it did work. As you can see, my Instagram feed is now shown here. Next thing you may want to do is you may want to display the MailChimp newsletter sign up form in your footer, just like the one we have on our live demo. To do this, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, Widgets, find MailChimp sign up form widget, and drag it to the footer sidebar, like this. After that, you need to go to MailChimp for WordPress, form and hit save changes. Now let's go to the front end and see if our footer sign up form is going to show up. Here we go. Now the newsletter sign up form has shown up. And the last step you may want to take to make your site look like our live demo is showing this uh, little off canvas sidebar right here. To show it you need to go to appearance widgets and place several widgets in the off canvas widget area right here. The first widget you need to place there is regular search widget. So you drag and drop it there and put the title search. Okay great. And the second one is navigation menu right here. Drag and drop. Put the menu title in and select the off canvas menu from the drop down. Hit save. And the third widget is custom HTML widget. Place it here. Go to our documentation. Copy a little code here. Place it right there. Press save. Go to the front end, reload. Voila, we have the off canvas sidebar on its place. And this is it. Your site looks like our live demo now.